Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the world of receipt capture in QuickBooks Online and a little update that they've added, which I think is going to be really, really powerful. So strap in, let's go and run that little VT and then we're going to go straight into the receipt capture area in QuickBooks Online. Hello, my name is Ian Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, head of accounts here at Barfix, and also your friendly podcast who goes live each and every Monday morning with Ask the Accountant. Now, in today's video, we're going to make this really straightforward. We're going to make this super simple. We're going to look at one of the favorite features in QuickBooks, which is their industry leading receipt capture technology. This is that magic technology, right? This is where you get your mobile app or we're going to see other ways in which you can get the information into receipt capture. You're going to go in there, take a photo of a receipt. And if by magic, it's just going to appear where it needs to appear. Amazing, right? The idea is that it uses what's called OCR technology, extracts data from that receipt. We're going to see all that process going through, but there's been some updates and some updates I think are going to be really, really useful. So strap in and let's go straight into looking into the receipt capture technology and its new update. So as soon as you log in, you should see straight away what update we're on about first of all, which is their Google Drive integration. Now, just so you know, the easiest way to get an information into QuickBooks is as follows. Get into your QuickBooks app, Go into your client and we're going to get a receipt or a bill in this case. And what we would do is press the snap receipt functionality, take photo, say we want to use this photo. And if by magic, it's all cloud based, remember? So this now is going to appear directly on here. Now that's probably the most common way of doing it, but there are other ways. As you can see at the top here, I have upload from computer, which means I can click this button upload the transaction I need to do. It's going to do exactly the same functionality. As I'm on a Mac, I can even do fancy connections where I can connect it directly to my camera on here, take it straight up and upload it directly there. I've got loads of really nice functionality. I also have an email address, so I could set an email up, get it so that basically we can forward the transaction directly into there and I'll extract it and bring it in nicely. But the new one, upload from Google Drive. Now, for me, this is a feature that's been in the US for a while, but I'm just so happy it's here. All I need to do is go in and connect this up, make sure that I've got all the connections and basically giving it permission to go in and go through there. On my particular one, I then need to do a nice little authentication to make sure I'm happy with it. So yes, that's me. Let's get that in. From there, I'm able then to press continue, allow access to the drive, allow cookies, Wow, that's looking good to me. And then straight away, I'm in here with the file that I would, uh, with my normal e file. Then my way of doing it this way would be that I would basically have, I'd have a folder that's dedicated to putting information in there. Um, and then from there, I can basically get documents in. Now, why this becomes a bit of a game changer is I can go into my Google Drive on my phone, for example. And from here I can say, and I can get the information directly in off my phone if I want to. So it, the actual Google Drive functionality in here is really, really good. It's got a whole scanning functionality. I can get the document in and I can save it and I can get it up. So if you've got kind of a situation, maybe you've got someone else doing the uploads for you and they just want a central place to get the information in, this can be really, really powerful. Because just like that, I've got that information in there find the thing that I need. And you can see from here that I've just put this document in, I can select it, fetch in your documents from Google Drive, and ultimately that's gonna go in there. But it gets more powerful now in my opinion because with certain printers and scanners like I've got, I can actually get this and just scan it straight in if I need to. So let's go and do that now. So you'll see with this particular scanner, uh, this one's by Raven. I can actually get it set so that I can go straight to my Google Drive, which basically means as soon as I scan this through, scans the pages through for me. I can send to Google Drive like that. Press OK. And if I magic now, I've basically got myself a nice little quick and easy way for me to get documents into a to-do folder ready to upload. So let's get back to the, so let's get back to it and print it off from there. So 
I've got everything in there, everything's printed over. I can then go to upload from Google Drive. And as you can see, all of them have already come through. So we've got down here, we can review the one I took on my mobile phone, worked quite well. I can also review the one we've just scanned straight through from the scanner. And look how simple it was to get it in there and actually much better quality, right? Like it's all well and good using your mobile phone and taking a copy here, but putting through a scanner, it's not gonna be any better, but getting that scanning information into QuickBooks was sometimes a little bit difficult. Now, I feel like it's a bit of a game changer. There's been some other updates as well. One of them is that when I go back to the edit receipt one here, this item at the top, this document type, is now gonna be really clever. It's gonna remember the last one you had. So if I've had it as a bill before, and I've had it a bill this time, just so we don't get any duplicates, I'm just gonna go and do today's date, and save and close. That means then if I go into my next one, it's gonna remember we class it as a bill before, and put it through from there. Now, if I go to say this Costco here, uh, Costco one here, review, edit, if I would say actually this is a receipt and the account that it went from was my Revolut account, and let's just say it was 20% and save and net. But now I've created an expense. The next time I go into a transaction, say like this one here, review that one, it's now defaulting to a receipt. So it's always gonna remember what my last one was and bring it into place for me. Which means if you wanna to default to a bill or a receipt or an expense, you're gonna have that done each and every time. Now, final update, and I think this is the real key, quick game changer, is all about batch actions. Now you have the opportunity to review selected, and from here, I can make all of them bills. I can have all of them as multiple, what do you call it, all of them going through and make them billable if you want. I can make all of them from account category-wise. Let's say they're all related to Sundry. And I can modify all of them. I can use confirm selected and get multiple of them in to QuickBooks dead quickly. I love it. So there we have it. This is a quick and easy way for you to, to get the receipt capture information in better than ever. I love the idea of the Google Drive. For me, that means that you can actually be really clever with it as well. Especially if you were to use Gmail, because if I have a, an invoice like this that I need to put through, I have an option there to add it directly to my drive, directly from here, which means that now that I've got it into the drive, well, I can use all that cleverness that I've just looked at, right? So I can go back to my Google Drive and you can select multiple ones as well. So I can select them, bring them through, fetching documents from Google Drive. So as you can see, we can go into the transaction. It's put it as a bill. Didn't know the payee on this one, but that's fine. I can add that in so it knows it going forward. But it's been able to read everything for me. Don't forget we now have the split bill functionality if we did need it as well. And we can make items billable. From there, there we do save and next. It's going to see, find it, can't find it, create the bill. We've got that in two QuickBooks. And there we have it. Some small but significant updates to the world of receipt capture, making it that little bit more functionality each and every time those updates come in. At the end of the day, it's absolute magic, right? You just get that document from this piece of paper into QuickBooks without you having to type majority of the information in. Yes, please, that's automation at its best. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Is there anything you like or don't like about the receipt capture? Put in the comments and we can have a talk about it at a later date. We will be doing a follow-on video to this at some point, so make sure you subscribe because I know there are some updates coming to the world of receipt capture and I think you need to be making sure that you are part and parcel of those updates. My name's been Anne Patrick. As always, this video has been an absolute pleasure to do for you and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to use that like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff to support the channel and thank you for all the continued support. My name's been Anne Patrick. It's been a pleasure. I will see you before and I'm just going to go and go and snap some receipts as I go along because, hey, receipt captures just that little bit of magic that we love. Bye for now. Hello and welcome to this new series. Hello and welcome to this video. 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 Hello and welcome to this video.
Alright, let's get it set. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, you're alright. Yes, I'm aware we go live every Monday. The next generation has got everyone else that missed it. Yeah. So, Chloe. All right, you've told us what you love about the industry, but what would you change about the industry? Where do I start? Because during that period of time, where did everyone turn to? Their accountant, right? their advisor, the bookkeeper, and you all did phenomenal work for small business. 